Three months ago, I thought I had a brilliant SaaS idea. I spent weeks planning, coding, designing, and even dreaming about it. Then I launched it. Not a single user. That's where I realized that I never validated my idea before building. So I decided to build a tool that can validate any business idea based on real data and powered by AI analysis. And I did it. Now, in minutes, I can test if any idea is worth building before wasting weeks and money. If you are thinking about starting a new business online, you have two options. Guessing or validating before starting. If you pick the right choice, then you are in the right place. In this video, I will show you step by step how I built this tool, the secret engine behind it, how you can use it for free to launch your next successful business. Okay, before we go deep, let me show you in less than one minute how this tool works. I'm sure you will love this. So we have this business idea validator and you have this simple input. So let's say I want to build a tool, a micro SaaS to generate YouTube thumbnails with AI. Look at the magic. We have this button, we click, and now this tool will go and start scraping the web, reading what people are posting, what people are chatting about, in this topic, collecting all this data, collecting pain points, problems, sentiment analysis, and much more, then providing this data to AI to analyze it, and then generate a simple, clean report with a scoring system. And yes, I'm giving you this tool for free, even with the source code by the end of this video. But before that, let's go inside this tool and you will start with the main challenge I encountered when building this tool. It wasn't coding the project. It wasn't the algorithm or the logic. It wasn't integration with AI. It was how to collect and scrape the web and collect clean data from different websites. This is the most important part in the video. Please focus very well. What you will see now is really super important for any scraping project you may build, or if you want to update this tool or reinvent it in your own way. If I open now Hacker News Powered Search, this website where you can find and search for topics and what's there on the web about a certain idea. Let's go here and search, for example, for YouTube thumbnail, for example. You see that these results are being filtered real time. So we are using JavaScript to filter this out. Now, if I get this URL, that I want to scrape and read, then I go to this basic web scraper I build for testing, paste the URL, click on scrape, and you will get some HTML, but you will see this is only the layout. We don't have any data. So we got maybe the header without any data inside the page because this page requires JavaScript rendering before getting the results. And this is the case of many websites. When you want to scroll and read data like on Quora, maybe on Reddit, maybe on social media, a lot of websites use JavaScript rendering to load the web page in a lazy dynamic way. So how to solve this? I'm so glad I found Scraper API. Look at this. I will paste the same URL here in their playground. And then here in the additional options, we have something called JavaScript rendering. If we enable this, we can input a selector to load before getting back the results. Let's go down here, click on try it. It's scraping. And boom, we got the results, all the search results. Now, the other great feature, which is really a game changer, is the parsing results. Here, I can simply select parse to mark down so I can get LM ready data, which I need. So I can pass clean data to language models, to the AI directly. If I click on this now, look at this. I will try again. And you will see now we get the full results, the full page in MD format. 
which is great for language models to understand as a context. The third great feature that was really a game changer for me too is the bypass mechanism. Let me show you an example. If I go here again to my basic scraper and let's scrape this website. Scrape, you will see I get just a moment. It's a security protection like Capture or Cloudflare and so on. While if I go again to the same website and paste it here and then enable advanced bypass mechanism and then go and try it, you will see I get the full data, the full website and again in MD format, which is great for language model and analysis. And you can see how simple the integration is in just three lines of code using the built-in requests in Python, you can integrate in your applications or you can use any other language you want or even use no code like N8N or Make to integrate Scraper API with your no code automation. This is really a game changer. And I will show you in a few seconds some examples that can be your next successful business idea. For me, I love Python and with the help of today's AI coding agents, things is way easier. So I grabbed these snippets and at the first place, what I did is I built this test script without any user interface, but then I wanted to make things more professional. So I built the full business validator with the user interface. I will tell you in a few seconds how this works and how easy to run it. Even if you don't know anything about Python or programming, we can run this in less than one minute and validate any idea. But for those who love to understand how these tools work, you will see here in the first step, I get the business idea from the user, the input, then I create a log folder to save all the logs. You can see here we have the logs saving every detail. And then what I do, the first step, is generate some keywords with AI that I can use to search the web. So for example, if you input a tool to generate YouTube thumbnails with AI, it will generate keywords like YouTube thumbnail generator, AI thumbnail generator, and so on. So we can use these seed keywords to search the web on Reddit, on Hacker News, and other websites. Then for each keyword, it will process it. So it will search the web, as we mentioned, collect data and then pass the AI to analyze and then generate the final report. Now, before we go and see how to download and get this tool for free and how to run it in less than one minute and see it in action, while I was building this tool and testing Scraper API and testing different features and how we can integrate with AI, I really got some ideas and I directly thought about sharing it. Maybe it will be your next successful business idea. Really scraping plus AI today is the new gold mine that you need to focus and think about. It has unlimited possibilities. The first idea is solving the problem of finding which questions and posts to engage with on websites like Quora and Reddit. Many people struggle to find the threads where to engage to get the right awareness. So with the scraping and AI, you can do this easily. The second idea is to track your competitors. Implement a system where you can scrape your competitor's website like on a daily basis or a weekly basis and see their pricing, their features, their updates, what other people are talking about so you can discover gaps in their products maybe, in their pricing and optimize based on that. Number three, which is somehow related to our idea today, but for discovery. So you can scrape the web, Reddit, Quora, forums, social media, websites in general, and read what people are talking about and discover pain points and problems. I think you know, a great business idea is simply solving a problem for a specific person. So with the scraping and AI, you can now discover and untap potential ideas for your next business. Let me show you now how in one minute you can run this project on your own. Grab the link in the description below, download the project, and then just open the terminal where your project is. Create a virtual environment. I will say python-mvnv and call it whatever you want. I will call it myenv, anything you want. Then activate it. 
I would say my MV scripts activate. We are in. Now simply install the requirements. PIP install dash r requirements.txt. All the commands will be available in the description, so you just need to copy and paste. Enter. Just wait a couple of seconds, maybe minutes. When done, you will see here we have the business validator UI. This is the main script. But before you run it, you need to enter your API keys. We are using here two services, Scraper API, our great engine for this project, and OpenAI for AI analysis. So paste your API key here for OpenAI. And for Scraper API, just sign up and go to your dashboard here. You will see the API key, grab it, and then paste it here. It's that simple. Now we are ready to the magic. Simply say streamlet run and pass the project name, which is business validator ui.py. Enter and boom, the application is up and running and you can now validate any business. Let's validate a weird business like an underwater barber shop. Weird idea, validate the business. Now it starts generating keywords, scraping the web, collecting data, analyzing with AI, and then generating the final report. This is my first prototype version one of this project. It's free, open for you. Grab it from the links, test it, run it. If you need help, you have questions, anything, I'm here to help you. You can join us on the free public forum on my website and discuss. I'd be more than happy to chat and help you. If you learned something new today, smash the like button and see you in the upcoming videos.